Terrasite. The fourth fire of civilization. The discovery of this revolutionary energy source excited the entire world. Through repeated fierce competitions and raving wars, Terrasite revolutionized science and technology. Humanity was becoming great beings, just like the gods their ancestors had served. Now, they were able to control the weather and gravitation in space. Earth was violated by her insatiable inhabitants. A few scientists warned them of the doom that their greed would bring about, but it was not listened to. Eventually, her smoldering resentment flared up. Cracked lands gushed out flames, and darkened skies poured out storms. Facing the surge of destruction, people cried out like babies in stark terror. Right on the brink of collapse, fortunately, they recalled the traces of civilization still intact in space. After going through many sacrifices, they made it there. The structures of the Earth's orbit originally designed for warfare, became a haven for mankind. The involuntary immigrants called their unfamiliar homes Orbis. Through generations of strenuous efforts, they had fully adapted themselves to living in the extraterrestrial margins. The fear of the sudden end seemed to be forgotten in their memories along with Earth. Before long, however, Mankind could not help but remind themselves of their home planet. Having failed to find an alternative resource to Terrasite, humanity was being driven to energy depletion. There remained only one choice, and that was to bring Terrasite from Earth. However, it was so obvious that mining Terrasite would repeat the catastrophe of the past. Therefore, Orbis put the names on the list of volunteers for this dangerous journey. The names of outcasts, like you. Expect entry interface in 10 minutes. Brace for impact. We sincerely wish you return to Orbis safely. Of course, with Terrasite. Welcome to this Terra. This is the beta playtest, which I believe is going until the 18th. I got access to it recently. So we're going to have a first look at it together and see what it's all about. Now we can play on either single player or on the official server. We're going to, for this one, go and check out the single player. Also, once the video is live, um, if we want to do more content on that before the 18th, watch out, check out our uh, YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on because we will probably be streaming this tonight as well. Anyway. Off we go, single player. Let's see what it's all about. I hope you guys are going to have a good time. So we can change the gathering multipliers, the PvE damage multipliers, world time multipliers. I leave everything at one just to see what is the game like by default. And here we have our chosen outcast. Character customization, male, female. Loving those cross eyes. Yes, let's go for Terrasite. Send our strongest people out into the universe. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love the chiseled look. This look means business. Yeah, I don't think this will do. We're going to have to go for the tight haircut. I'm expecting a lot of action. We don't want our hair tangled up in our armor we can change hair color though there we go i like blue let's go with blue all right we can pick a landing point elam azure or afakaksa Af okay and the other one elam is a safe area for survivors with loads of resources i'm assuming le le very little threat azure is down here on the bottom right which is the main area for survivors while edible plants and mineral resources are relatively plentiful they're coveted by other survivors as well well we don't play with other survivors we are on single player so a lot of people would be starting there i guess or maybe it's also npcs i have no idea and then we have the other landing zone which is high quality resources and deadly threats of heat survivors compete fiercely against each other in order oh wow this is like the hunger games well you know what let's go for the middle ground i'm probably gonna regret everything but that's what it's all about
Oh wow, hey, what a start! Oh, do you have any injuries? No, I'm you okay. You seem to be dizzy with the differences of gravity and atmospheric pressure, but it will be okay. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. Holden, one of the pioneers. We keep searching and helping the outcasts like you. Okay, thank Don't you. Don't get discouraged, outcast. You'd find the way to survive and go back to Orbis. You know, my name is Charlie. We'll you can call me Charlie. With, with instead pressing of outcast. JP, you can see and check our messages. Good luck. We can gather up our pod. Oh, it disappeared. I never got to gather it. Oh, no. I probably lost loads of good resources. I didn't know there was a timer. Oh, Q and E's leaning around corners. I love it. And then we have V, which is vision on or off. Oh, wow. Look at that. So we have gatherable resources, which stand out. Then we have a mini map, which opens. We are down here. 167 days, 21 hours and 30. Oh, there's a countdown. After that, they're going to blow the planet up or something. Barehanded mode. Barehanded mode. Oh, nice. And then we have construction mode. Oh, I love it. And then we have F3 management mode. Where we can probably place machines, something. I have no idea. This is all new to me. This is amazing. So let's gather this rock. Oh, nice. This is awesome. Can we... Oh, we can gather that. We have to gather 10 terracite and 20 rocks. Oh, beautiful. Oh, nice. Do not waste the resources you get in your exploration. If you use without them, press you and craft items. Okay, that was very quick. So we have to craft a wrench. A wrench is scrap metal, cogwheels, and copper. Oh, I probably got the resources from my um, pod in the end automatically. Okay, so craft. Oh, I like it. Does it craft when I close the screen? Does it keep crafting? I can't see any progress. But yeah, it did keep crafting, actually. That is pretty awesome. I like that. So you can actually focus on what's going on, especially in a PvP game when you join a server. You don't want to have your crowd, your few obstructed um, as much at all. You actually want to abstract it as little as possible. And what else do we have to craft? A light drone protocol. Okay, what is a light drone protocol? So this is that here. Spawn a drone that lights the path ahead. The battery is drained while the drone is on. Oh, I love it. So let's go. Drone. So this drone we have to equip on the equipment cr uh, screen. Can we right click? Equip. Bam! There we go. Protocols. Oh, we have protocol slots, so we can probably have uh, the healing protocol as well that I saw. Let's see what that was all about. Healing protocol. It requires an Android chip. Ooh, I only have one left. Am I supposed to craft a healing protocol? I don't actually know. I don't see it, so I'm gonna keep it for now. Ah, there's the barrel grill. But we need more scrap metal. So what happens when we execute the drone? Oh, it's actually sitting on my shoulder? That is amazing. It's basically a light. Oh, that is really cool. Let's get more terracite. We also need some scrap. Let's see if we can scrap any of this. It doesn't seem to be anything we can gather up. Oh, I have a no new message. Supplies from Orbis have come. Find the supply pod. Oh, nice. Okay. You definitely should see if we can. Oh, there's a the supply pod right here, this direction. Oh, that would be awesome if we can find the materials we need in that. We can actually see on the map how far away we are. This is the marker I accidentally placed. Can I delete them? Oh, there we go. We can actually, um, wherever we click, this is where we set it. Okay, and then insert also will set it. Okay, fair enough. Excellent. At least we know how to get rid of it. Let's go. And 631 meters away. Let's see if we can find any scrap metal along the way. I mean, that would be pretty awesome. There's definitely somebody else walking around here somewhere. I'm not imagining it. Oh my god, what is that? There was something there. Oh, it feels like there's something behind me and in front of me. Oh, loot. Take all. Oh, what are you? Let's just go through the rubbish. Come here. Where are you? Oh, he's running away. Oh, there's two of them! No, I'm gonna die! Okay, we have to be smart. Okay. We have still 83 health. Nice! Oh, I think my wrench broke. That's not good. Okay, let's do it. Let's just keep pounding him. He's gonna hit us anyway. Let's see if, yes, we can actually circle around him. Yes, we killed it. 
Holy crap, Apple. I hope there's nobody else coming because we have very low health. We should probably eat our bandage. Eat our bandage. We probably apply a bandage. Oh, nice. It actually heals for quite a chunky, chunky bit. Okay, let's gather more builder rubble. And oh, nice. Look at that. We got an. What is that? Scrap metal? Nice. And we got a motor, whichever that is for. I have no idea. But let's take all the stuff. Can we make a new wrench? Because our wrench actually had durability. I didn't realize that. Machine arm? Oh, look at that. Oh, this is amazing. We can upgrade our arm. And then we can make it stronger or something? I don't know. We will see. But for now, let's make another weapon. Tools and weapons. Oh, I can't make a wrench. I can make a water bottle, though. Which probably is important because we should be gathering some drink. I actually can see we're 64 down thirst and 67 down hunger. So that would be really good. And to make a weapon, we need more scrap. We need more copper and bolts. So let's get more resources. What do we need actually to make the wrench? Cogwheels. Ugh. Okay. How do we make cogwheels? Is that something we can craft ourselves or we have to find? It looks like cogwheels is something we're going to have to find. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Oh, we have more Android chips. That's nice. We found more Android chips. That means we can actually craft the um, healing protocol. Instantly restore health by prompting tissue regeneration. Oh, we found some cogs. Nice. We just need one more. But this is awesome. Like, uh, going through the buildings, looting. I hope eventually they're going to have all these kind of shelves lootable. That it's like more than tra just trash piles. But we need cogs. And also that you can craft maybe some of the resources. Maybe later on when we have a workbench, we can craft our own cogs. So we don't need to continuously rely on finding them. It probably is a thing. We'll see. Like, that would, be make, that would make sense as progression. You know, at first you have to search. And then you can just craft it yourself. Oh, hello. A housekeeping robot. Oh, we can gather him up. Oh, we get metal plates from it, copper wire, synthetic resin, and a cogwheel. Nice. Oh, that is awesome. I didn't know we can actually do that. Take these guys apart. Let's make another wrench. There we go. Excellent stuff. And then we can pound some more robots into the ground. So let... Oh, Schweppes. He's up there. So you know what? We're going to ignore him and loot the trash pile and just run away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to die today. So let's go and see if we can get to that uh, drop. And more metal robots to scrap. Nice. Oh, we got a message. The giving doll. <laughs> the giving doll. Oh, that sounds like something else. All right. Having fun with the giving doll. That's one way of calling it. The giving doll. These are human service robots that help the operating the facilities. Okay, so they were nice robots, good robots. And we can break them down for resources, which is really, really good. I like that there's like a background story to each of those things. And what else we have? Vanessa Holden has first aid. Yeah, we already have that. So all the messages are read. Very nice. Also, can we make that grill barrel now? Let me see here. That grill barrel is part of the deployables. A barrel grill. Yes, we can make it now. Nice. Let's craft it. And then we need a Sonic Boom Punch Memory Chip. A Sonic Boom Punch Memory Chip. There we go. What do we need for it? More scrap metal, more metal plates. A material to upgrade the special ability of your machine arm. Press Y to open the machine arm window and select special ability tab. Oh, nice. And Oh, that is so sweet. Special abilities. There we go. And then we can pow, punch someone right in the face. We better skedaddle and go after that. Uh, Supply crate if we can. Oh, there's more robots. Let's loot and get out! Whoop, whoop! Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Suckers, you're not gonna be able to catch up to me! Oh my god, what is that? That is looking some like some risky business. Let's hope we can run past them or somehow to get to the drop. I really would like to see a drop and see what's in it. Oh, look at that. There's a, like a mountain base. Oh, that looks amazing. I mean, I'm on a single player world, which means all this is pre-generated. So, but we will be getting into base building and everything. We can craft bases here, make workbenches, all that stuff. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna go and ignore you if that's possible. Let's see if you're gonna give up after a while. That would actually be appreciated. You're detecting an orbital supply signal nearby. Okay, let's go up here. Maybe it's up here. Orbital disappears in one minute. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoop, whoop. He has guns. 
I don't have guns. Why do you have guns? That's not fair. <laughs> okay, so we are here and the drop is here. So we are very close. Is it here between the rocks? It would be awesome to see one. I'm not sure. It's supposed to be right here. Oh, I bet you it's right on top. Oh, yeah, we're not going to get to it if it's on top. What a pity. I thought we we're going to see one. I thought we we're going to get an easy one. Yeah, I don't have a gun yet, so and I can't craft again. I don't think I can craft the gun yet. Let me see. Crafting, weapons and tools, uh, the gun. Yeah, we're missing some scrap metal, metal plates, bolts. Like, yeah, there's still too much to miss. And now it gets dark, but we have our little dude with the light. That looks amazing. Oh, no, they're shooting at me. That's not good. Let's see if we can heal. With our heal uh, chip. Ah, oh, crap, and there's a bear. Oh, my balls. Everything is trying to kill me, and we still have stamina 64, so we can run for it. But everything is trying to kill me. What did I do? I'm just here for Terracite. That's all. I don't want to invade your homes. I don't want your robot women. I think we're kind of safe-ish. Whoa. The defense system of the center starts tracking for you. Draw your weapons for self-defense. Whoa, turrets! Oh, I'm so dead. Can we, like, sneak in and loot a little bit? Oh, crap. Can we hide behind a crate and loot it? Oh, they're not lootable. Okay, let's run. No, no, we're gonna make it! We're gonna make it! We're going to make it! We're dead. We didn't make it. We, we died over there. Okay, do you know what? I changed my mind. Let's go into um, the easy area where we have less <laughs> risk of dying. Well, at least we always have our glove and we can actually straight away gather more materials, which is really nice. And to make the initial tools and stuff, we only need... Um... Oh, actually, I have some scrap metal. Do I have all that stuff still on me? All right, so some of the stuff actually was kept on me. That is really, really good. So I didn't lose everything. So we can make the light drone straight away again, the healing protocol straight away again, and some bandages. Nice. And we can make the water bottle. That is awesome. Okay, in the water, can we actually go into the water? Can we fill up our bottle there? Now drink. Oh. Okay, this was terrible. That was a terrible idea. We probably should cook the water or something. What happens if we go in the water? Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, wow. Okay, water does not like us. It's probably radioactive. That's why we probably have to do something to it to process it. Okay, there's structures here in the easy area as well. But will it have actually as many robots defending it? I don't know. We'll see. Can we make a wrench yet? We can't make a wrench just yet. We need three more cog wheels. Oh, nice. There's some food here. I see a lot of animals, but I don't see any robots yet. Oh, of course there is. But hopefully they have no guns. And we can walk in here and do quick loots. That would be great. Okay, somebody is in there. Hopefully they don't have guns. So let's see if we can find something to loot in this direction. Okay, I don't see any trash bags. Oh, I think we have to go into the building. It's just the way it is. That's how it works. Oh, it's becoming daylight. Nice. Ah, we still need the light. There he is. And there's the rubbish as well. So let's run for it. So they actually do give up very quickly, which is nice. Does that mean we can jump through the window? Oh, we can. That is awesome. Let's take it and then quickly run off. There we go. If we can do speed loot like that. There we go. Ah! Don't touch me. Okay. Yes, I, I, I managed to jump through the window gap. That is amazing. You see, we're just superior intelligence. That's just simple as that. Oh, crap. Okay, I think they gave up. So let's see if we can craft ourselves a wrench. We can. Nice. Okay, what else can we craft? We can craft more bandages, which is nice. And to make a gun, we need a lot more resources. We need a lot of bolts for that. So how does this work with uh, building? So how does base building work? So we probably have to make the sonic boom chip first, which probably would be a good idea. So that way we can kick some ass. And we only need some scrap metal for that. OK, so why don't we go and see if we can punch those guys in the face now. And let's drink, see if we get drink. 
No, it actually doesn't go up from 67 at all, so it's completely useless water. Nice. And that's already broken. Yes, we dodged. Nice! I love that you can dodge the melee. Oh, that is nice. I feel like I actually have a chance. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> There's more. Okay, let's heal a little bit. Maybe I can get them confused. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, now how do I dodge? Okay, dodge, dodge, dodge. Yes. And then we can hit them again. And then they're, it's their turn again, but we're gonna dodge like a pro. Ah, no, we should have dodged that. Yeah, dodge. There we go. Oh. I died again. That is not good. All right, I'm gonna leave this here, guys. We have to figure out how to properly progress in this without constantly dying. Um, so I'm gonna have a look at things and then we're probably gonna do a stream tonight later. I hope you guys had a good time with the video, though. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls and I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, fish pass and happy gaming.